Hello, hello, good people. What's up, what's up, my people? How are you doing today? Greetings from Kigoma, Ujiji to be specific. Um, this town is called Kigoma, Ujiji because it is made up of two towns, Kigoma town and Ujiji town. So today I'm going to explore this uh, historical town of Ujiji. And of course, Ujiji is very, very big. So I'll be exploring, I will be having uh, part one and part two of this tour of Ujiji and this is part one and the currently I am at Buzeba Zeba um, Buzeba Zeba is a famous place in Ujiji so we are going to explore Ujiji so stick around the friends and see what Ujiji looks like Yes, wadau. <laughs> this is Buzeba Zeba uh, Primary School. So, yeah, I think there are some people from Kigoma. Would you, you study in this place? If you are there, friend, this is your school, Buzeba Zeba. As I mentioned earlier in this video, friends, Ujiji is a historical town. Its history can be traced as far back as during Arab slave trade, where caravans from Congo had their stop here before going to Tabora and the coastal towns such as Bagamoyo. That's why Arabic influence can be seen even today in this town. One of them is Islamic religion, which is mostly practiced by Ujiji residents. Yes, friends, this is Kitama Mosque at Ujiji, and the story house you see uh, was his house. The late Kitama was one of the rich and the famous people of Ujiji. Thank you. 
People are so friendly here in Ujiji like in most parts of the country and the indigenous here are Manyema, Wabembe and Ewaha. The Manyema community comprises of several uh, small tribes such as Wagoma, Wabwari, Wanyakaramba and the others. As I mentioned earlier before, slave trade had major impact on the migration of African communities. The Manyema community originated from Congo and they settled here in the mid 80s. Others went to coastal towns such as Bagamoyo and Zanzibar. Ndiyo wadau huu bado tunaendelea ku, kuangalia ujiji na kitu kimoja ambacho kimenifurahisha kuhusiana na mji wa ujiji ni jinsi ambavyo mji umepangiliwa of course ujiji ni mji wa kihistoria umepangiliwa vizuri sana um, sio rahisi kupotea hapa kama una ndugu yako hujui alipo unaweza ukasema bana ah, mimi na ndugu yangu yupo mtaa fulani mtaa ana mtaa ngamiani uh, mtaa darajani uh, yeah kwa hiyo inakuwa ni rahisi sana wanakuelekeza wanafika pale na Unamuona ndugu yako kwa sababu mitaa mipangiliwa vizuri ndio kitu ambacho uh, na na nafurahia kuhusiana na eneo la ujiji japokuwa ndio hivyo uh, ni mji wa kale bado zile nyumba uh, zilizo ambazo hazipo katika hali nzuri bado zipo kwa hiyo ya ndio hivyo Like in most parts of the country, uh, life in Ujiji is very cheap. You can get your basic needs such as food, shelter, clothing at an affordable price. You can rent a house here from as little as $5 to $15 per room depending on the condition of the house. You can't get a plot of land to buy here but you can buy a house from $10,000 US dollars to $30,000 depending on the condition of the house and where it is located.
Yes, friends, still exploring Ujiji and this neighborhood or this area is called Vamia. So, Vamia, Ujiji, this is how Vamia looks like. I mean, it's a beautiful town, you know, uh, houses, some are old, but in decent conditions, some are new. That's life here and that's the reality of the streets of Ujiji. Let's continue to enjoy Ujiji. Hello Wadau, we are now at Buzeba Zeba Market, uh, one of famous markets found in Kigoma. This market is famous for selling fresh fish or mungebuka for, uh, from Lake Tanganyika.
Yes wadau we are at Rusimbi area of Ujiji uh, where Rusimbi secondary and the primary schools are located but also Al Albait Islamic Seminary is also located at this area and the Rusimbi ward office is also here as well as the famous Kipampa I mean Kipampa primary uh, school is also uh, located in this area Let's continue exploring this amazing town of Ujiji, friends. And currently, we are now at Anna Street. <laughs> uh, as I mentioned earlier in this video, uh, Ujiji is a well-planned town. Streets are well arranged with the proper street names. Thus, easier to locate the house you are going without any hassle. This is Istikama Mosque at Ujiji. As mentioned earlier, uh, majority here are Muslim. So you are likely to see many mosques in this area. This street is called Ngamiani. Uh, it reminds me of, ta uh, of Tanga Town, <laughs> one of my favorite cities in Tanzania.
Hello wadau, we are now at Kwanoti, one of the famous places in Ujiji. Uh, this place is where the famous evening market or sometimes called uh, Fush Market or Soko Mjinga ni Kiswahili uh, is found. Kwanoti Market, Soko la Kwanoti. Yes friends, uh, we are still in Ujiji exploring um, the streets, the real streets of Ujiji and now we are at uh, Soko Mjinga, uh, it's called Soko Mjinga, literally translated as foolish uh, market. Uh, this market is called Kwanot, I mean it's a night market, that's why they call it a foolish market. So everything you need, you will get it here from foodstuffs, from everything. So yeah, life is cheap here. Uh, people are enjoying life, living on budget. Yeah, let's continue exploring this market. I'm very impressed with the improvement of some roads in Kigoma town, Ujiji to be specific. As you can see, uh, this Kwanoti road is tarmacked. Uh, this road will take you to Rubuga, another famous market in Ujiji. video Ujiji is very huge hence impossible to exploit in a single video thus wait for part two uh, so let me finish this video with this amazing view of Lake Tanganyika uh, where famous Mgebuka fish <laughs> come from friend don't forget to subscribe like and share this video to your community